We all know that AI has had a huge impact on educational technology. And yet, if you were to ask me, what is my number one technology, educational technology, it would still be screen capture technology. It's the technology I'm using to make this video. It's the technology that I use every day to make content for my courses. It's the technology that I use to generate feedback from my students. And it's the technology that won me the British Council Award, the Times Higher Educational Award, the award that I got from University of Westminster. In this video, I'm gonna show you three reasons why I think screen capture technology is still the outstanding technology and it's not AI. Really hope you like the video and as always if you do please like it, please share it, please comment on it and most of all join me on my YouTube channel. Let's get started. I'm going to use a screen capture technology called Snagit. It's one of my favorites. When you watch the video you'll see exactly why it does a few things that other screen capture technologies don't do and in the description below I'll put a link where you can download and try out Snagit for free. Now screen capture technology is absolutely everywhere. Every time you see a recording, someone talking over a PowerPoint or showing you how to use a website or doing something on YouTube where they're perhaps explaining something, they're normally using screen capture technology. So you can literally mark out the area on the screen and let me just show you. So I'm going to choose here region. I'm going to mark out this area here. So I'm holding down my mouse and I'm going to record this area of my screen. When I let go now, it just sets everything up for me. I can see it's already connected to my microphone. I'm not going to have my webcam on. I can even record the audio that's coming from the computer itself, and I can record my cursor. Now all I need to do is click on this button here, and this will start to record just like a video, and of course it will include my voice see that the results are instant but even more interesting than that I can then share that video with my students immediately so I'm going to click on this button here and show you how to sign up to the newsletter on my website so I click here To sign up to my newsletter, all you need to do is come over to teachertrainingvideos.com, click on this button here, and it will open a page where I'm only asking for your name and email address. You can unsubscribe at any time, and you will get a free 14-part video course on using technology in teaching and learning and you will get all the updates to my latest videos and my latest courses and webinars. Once I finish, I just click on the button here, click on stop. Incredibly, that video is ready. Let's just play it back and see what it sounds like. So we'll click on this button here. To sign up to my newsletter, all you need to do is come over to teacher training video. Okay, so the video is instantly ready. Now I could either save that video onto my computer and to do that I would just need to go file, save as and it will save as an MP4 video. So if I click here, you'll see it's an MP4 video. So you don't need to compress it or do anything with it. It's instantly ready to play on your computer or to email to someone or to upload onto a course. Now that's one option that you've got. But the other option that you've got is to click on the share link here. Now this is amazing and it's one of the reasons why I like Snagit so much. You can see now that it's actually uploading the video. And in fact, the video is already ready. And it's actually copied the link to the video for me. So I could now share the link with the students and they will be able to access the video. So let's actually look at this video now online. Remember, as soon as you upload the video, it automatically saves that video link. So if I press now on paste and click on enter, you can see that if I was a student, this is what I would see. Here's the video, let's play it. I'm just gonna close that down, let's just play it. 
To sign up to my newsletter, all you need to do is... Now, incredibly, what else I can do is I can click here and leave a comment. And that's actually what I'm going to do. So I'm going to click here and add a comment. I'm going to write my name. I'm going to put Russell. And I'm going to submit. Okay. And then I'm going to make my comment. This looks like a useful technology now i love this ability for the students to be able to comment on anything that i share with them and it's one of the reasons why i find this technology so useful now if you take a step back and think about it that technology is incredible so for example let's say you've got a group of students you've got a new ai technology and you want to show them how to use it you could record yourself using that technology send them the video, send them the link, they click on the link and watch the video. They could even leave questions in the messages. Let's say, for example, that the student sent you their work, you've opened it on the screen, you turn on the screen capture technology and you record yourself correcting their work, maybe explaining a few problems that they've got, a few things that they need to improve. And again, send them the video. It's something that I do all the time. Or for example, you wanna produce learning material so you can record yourself talking over a PowerPoint slide, talking over infographics, talking over a map, talking over a graph, etc. So screen capture has got an incredible number of uses. Don't forget, if you like the video, please click on the like button because it massively helps my video to get shared more on YouTube. I'm going to show you now some other features in Snagit that I really like because Snagit actually is a very good screen capture technology, but it does lots of other things too. Watch this idea now. This is really useful that we can do. I'm going to click on image capture and I'm going to just image capture that picture. Okay, so I'm just going to grab that picture and then I'm bringing it into Snagit. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna mark things on it. So I'm gonna come here, I'm gonna choose in the more button, I'm gonna choose steps, and I'm gonna click on here, and that's gonna be number one. And I'm gonna click on here, that's gonna be number two. Click on here, that's gonna be number three. So I've got number one is the mouse, number two is the screen, number three is the computer, number four is gonna be the keyboard, number five is gonna be the stand. Now I can actually copy that image, so I can take an image, screen capture any image, and then I can augment it. I'm going to copy that now. What I'm going to do is I'm going to open up Word. So now I've got Word open on the screen, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to write a title, so I'm going to call it Computer Words, okay? Then I'm going to paste in that image, and then underneath here I'm just going to put number one, so that students have to write the word for number one object, and then number two, number three, number four and number five and i suppose it would be a good idea to write at the top of this for example name the object okay and i've made myself really quickly a little handout obviously i could tidy it up but this ability to screen capture and then augment the image is amazing let me just show you one more example so i'm going to show you another really good example watch this i'm going to click on this again i'm clicking on image i'm clicking on capture and i'm going to capture my website and i want to make some instructions about where everything is on the website so i've now got the image okay which i can save really easy by just clicking on save as okay but what i want to do is i want to augment this image so i'm going to come down here and the one i want actually is at the top here it's got, i'm going to use call out so i'm going to click on call outs and then i'm going to choose for example a blue call out so i'm going to click on that and then i'm just going to mark hold it my mouse down and it opens up this area and then I'm just going to move that so it's pointing there and I'm going to write here videos so that everyone knows where the videos are if they want to watch the videos they're at the top of the screen now I want also people to sign up to my newsletter so I'm going to click on the red one I'm going to mark oh sorry I've actually changed the color of the first one because I still had it selected but that's no problem so I'm going to move this one around to here again pull that down to here and I'm going to say here sign up here okay and then i'll do one more so clicking away so i'm not selecting it this time i will choose a blue one i'm going to mark out this area here don't worry about where the arrow is you just grab it and point it around i'll make this a little bit bigger and i'm going to just write here double click i'm going to write contact russell so i love this technology because it's really useful for kind of taking images and augmenting and playing around them now this is just a really really quick taster you've got absolutely tons of different options that you can use it is a very useful technology has loads of features and i use snagit every single day of the week 
Now, one obvious thing is the video that you're actually watching now is made using screen capture technology. And you might ask me, well, Russell, do you use Snagit for the videos that you put on teachertrainingvideos.com? And the answer is no. I use Snagit for shorter videos if I'm sending feedback to students or if I wanna make a quick piece of input, quickly show a student how to log onto a website or to do something very simple, I always use Snagit. If I'm making much longer videos, I use a technology called TechSmith Camtasia. It's actually from the same company as Snagit. And if you do want to know about how I make my videos, then you can sign up to this channel. It's called Screencast Guru. And on that channel, I show people how I make my videos for teachertrainingvideos.com and how I built up my YouTube channel, etc. I really hope you found this video useful. And if you did, don't forget, please click on the like button and please subscribe to the channel because it really helps me to boost my numbers on YouTube. And have a look at Snagit, give it a try. There's a link below and you can download it and try it out for 30 days. I think it's a really powerful technology. Thank you very much. Okay, really hope you liked the video. And if you do, please come over to teachertrainingvideos.com. There's hundreds more videos on the website. There's a really popular section on teaching and using AI. I specialize in, in making videos to help language teachers use technology. If you want to sign up to the newsletter, then that way you can keep up with all the latest videos, the free webinars that we run, the courses that we run, etc. And at the moment, if you sign up to the newsletter, there is a special 14 part free course that you'll be sent. You'll be sent a video about every three or four days that really just focuses on the most popular technologies on my YouTube channel that teachers have reacted to. And that really builds up into a really nice course and gives you a strong basis in using technology in language teaching. It's completely free and literally everything that I show you uh, is a free technology. If you'd like to have live training with me, then think about joining me on Patreon. On Patreon, for $6 a month, you get three free videos from me each month without any advertisements in them. But the important thing is those videos are connected to a monthly webinar that we have where we meet live and we normally work with the technology that we focused on that month, or sometimes it's two technologies, and we do activities and really learn to use those technologies well so that then you can try those out in class or online with your students. The other interesting thing about joining me on Patreon is that actually you get access to all of the backdated material. So there's over a year of videos and live training, this training is very practical with lots and lots of ideas about things that you can do in the class or online with your students teaching languages. So it's much more practical than the YouTube videos and you get that as part of the $6 a month. Okay, I'm gonna leave some more videos on the screen that I think you might find useful.